Welcome back to the coil building tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be building an Enigma coil. I'm Sherlock Holmes and in this channel I do build tutorials, product reviews, all kinds of cool stuff. I put out new tutorials as often as I can. And as I said, in this episode we're going to be tackling the Enigma coil. This coil's a bitch. Make sure you have a lot of wire. It's like relearning aliens. Let's jump right into this. I'm going to operate under the assumption that you know how to prep wire, do frame staples, all the basic principles, and I'm just going to kind of show you how I go about doing this coil. We're going to need all of our basic build tools nothing special for this coil I'm using 28 gauge canthal for the frames 0.4 by 0.1 canthal ribbon for the middle and then I will be wrapping it all up in 38 gauge stainless steel you can use 0.3 ribbon if you want but if you're learning this for the first time I recommend the 0.4 because it's easier to keep stacked and that's almost half the battle is keeping your your stack stacked I'm gonna set up a like nine or 10 inch core. Really, I'm only expecting to get a single coil out of this. This is a hard coil, so out of 10 inches, if I'm lucky enough to get a usable single coil, I'm happy with that. And I'm really shooting for four wraps on a three millimeter bit. That gives us a lot of room to work with, a lot of room to mess up, and to be able to keep going once we do mess up. First, I'm going to start with making my decor. I'm gonna take a like 20, 22 inch piece of 28 gauge off the spool. This is going to be the core of our Clapton. And once we decor it, it's also going to be our frames. Attach that to your swivel and then into your chuck. Make sure it's centered. You wanna make sure all the prep in this build is spot on 100% straight as a razor. The actual like wrapping of the Nigma is hard enough so you want to try to make that your only focus. So you want your ribbon and everything like pristine, that way it's one less thing to have to worry about as you're wrapping it. Like with other aliens, whichever direction you wrap this in, you're going to wrap the Enigma the opposite way. Our Clapton core is mounted, now we're going to make our Clapton. When I get done with the Clapton, I'm gonna flip it the reverse way and just kind of backspin it a little bit just to make sure that my decor is nice and loose and will come off the rod clean. I'm gonna pull that off nice and easy and then set that aside. Now we're gonna start on our cores. As I said, we're shooting for nine or, nine or 10 inches. So I'm going to cut six 18 inch pieces of ribbon. And then once I fold those over, that'll turn into 12. 12 plus the frames is what we're going for. I'm gonna show you the method that I use to do frame staple, any kind of frame or ribbon work at all. But there are many different ways to do this. You can use hot glue, you can use key rings, you can use a whole bunch of different methods. Just, this is just the method that works best for me. If you need to adapt this to whatever way works best for you, by all means do that. There's no right or wrong way, only the way that works for you. I will stack them loosely in my hand and thread them through. I'm not worried about them being stacked yet. Touch the ends together. Now I'm gonna set the frames in and I'm gonna set one frame down to what's gonna be the chuck end just to make sure I have the distance then I'm gonna run that up, pinch at the swivel just to hold everything together and fold the other end down. Now is when I'm going to start worrying about the stack. So pinching about an inch down from the swivel, as long as I kept everything in line, I kind of just pinch and lightly in my fingers twist back and forth and it just kind of lays into place. And so what I'll do is I'll grab one of my mini paper clips and push it on and everything is laying flat right there so I just kind of put some pressure on that paper clip and push up toward the swivel. Everything's in line and stacked at the swivel so I just need to pinch and pull working my way down towards the other end. And I'll put a paper clip about every two inches just to help keep everything together as I'm working here. I'll just kind of give it a little wibble wibble wobble 
uh, to get everything straight and I'm just putting constant tension pulling down towards the end. When I get down to the end, I'll give it a snip to clean everything up and I'll use a piece of scrap wire to tie everything together. This just helps hold everything together when I insert it in the chuck. When I'm inserting it into the chuck, I stick it not really in the center. I kind of stick it between two of the clampy guys, the grabby guys. That just kind of keeps it flat. As I'm tightening this down, I'm paying special attention to make sure that nothing is getting bent or warped or twisted it out of place. Now we're set. We're mounted. We're ready to go. We're ready to start wrapping. I recommend when you're first starting to learn this making a whole bunch of decors, 2838 decors, because if you mess up, it's just a lot easier not to have to make that decor again. You just cut your ribbon and your 28 and set it back up. So I highly recommend you do that. I do this the no stretch method. It's just easier for me to adjust my tension on the fly because if you're pre-stretching it and if you you stretched it too far your whole thing shot before you even start doing it and it's really the same as if you understretch it intentionally and then put the pressure as you're wrapping it that's the same thing as doing the no stretch you just use a little bit more pressure with the no stretch when you're wrapping the enigma it is all about tension and angle just like an alien but you want to under stretch the shit out of this start with way under stretching it to the point where you're like this is not gonna work and really there's no right or wrong way to do that like there's no there's no trick or secret or anything like that that I could tell you to be like this is how it's done because there really is none. Some tips that Nick Devine, he's over on Instagram and I'll put his channel in, in the description of this video, some tips that he gave me when he taught me this build. When you find that tension, fucking lock it. Lock it down and don't move that hand. When you have to move your paper clips to stop and start, take your hand off the drill and use your drill hand to move everything. Keep your wire hand locked. Don't move it don't do anything because that's going to enable you to have a little bit better success. So yeah, just uh, just have fun with it. <laughs> uh, it's It can be frustrating, but the, you're just going to have to experiment. And once you get it, it's just like aliens. You're like, oh yeah, that that's it. That's where I need to be. So again, the best advice that I can give is make a whole bunch of decors because it's a commitment learning these things. I wasted a ton of wire before I finally nailed them. Just go ahead and, and go for it.
When you're wrapping these, you want to wrap it like any other frame staple. If I'm holding the bit with my left hand and spinning with my right hand, I will pull more on the left, the outside left edge. I'll put more pressure there, like almost twisting counterclockwise as I wrap it, if that makes any sense. In my opinion, it just helps everything just kind of lay flat, especially when you're working with big wide builds like that. It helps everything lay down nice and look pretty. There you go, guys. That's the Enigma coil. If you want to buy coils like this, I do have them for sale on my website, SherlockHolmes.com, along with other building tools and other cool stuff. If you'd like to check out some of my work, you can follow me on Instagram at Sherlock Holmes. Huge thank you to Hometown Hero Vapor for sponsoring this video. I'm not paid by them or anything. They're they're just a fantastic company and they actually gave me a coupon code to give to you guys. If you use the code Mr. Holmes, M-R-H-O-H-M-S, you'll get 15% off your entire order at hometownherovapor.com. Don't forget I have a whole bunch of other tutorials. If there's a build you want me to cover, let me know in the comments. Slap that like button if you liked this video and subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you push the bell so you get notified when I go live, post new tutorials or new reviews. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm Sherlock Holmes and I'll see you in the next video.